Growing up, I was a pretty big Adventure Time fan, and I'm sure you, the person watching, is as well. My friend Duck brought up that there are some Adventure Time Platinums I could do, and I thought getting every Adventure Time Platinum ever would be tons of fun. But unfortunately, most Adventure Time games are far from good, but I wasn't gonna believe the reviews. I wanted to Platinum all the games and see just how bad or good they really were. There are a total of 4 games for me to Platinum, with a total of 144 trophies across all games. The first being Secret of the Nameless Kingdom, which I chose to platinum the PS Vita version. This game has a list of quite a lot of missable trophies and side quests for me to go out of my way to do. This game is actually fairly challenging because of one trophy at the very end. The game starts off with me and Jake waking up on some random island, being tasked by Princess Bubblegum to wake up three princesses all around the kingdom. First thing I could tell from this game is it's basically Legend of Zelda Link to the Past but with an Adventure Time reskin. The dungeons are all the same, saving sleeping princesses, all the enemies are the same, the world map style. It's basically the exact same thing and I'm all here for it honestly. From the start of the game, I'd get a pretty long stream of tons of miscellaneous trophies and story trophies, and a thing you'll notice is most trophies in these games are fairly basic. As I made my way to the first princess, I would grab these four easy trophies right here. After those four trophies and clearing my first dungeon, honestly, I was loving this game. It brought me quite a lot of memories in a strangely nostalgic way of old Zelda games I played growing up, and honestly, I would say this game is pretty underrated. Okay then, <laughs> we're counting on you. There we go, Princess Day. First trophy. First thoughts? It's basically just like Legend of Zelda, uh, A Link to the Past. So, when trees that's die! Cool. Oh, this one's perfect! Yeah! Mixing it up! Rattle balls? I don't know what that's for, but I just got some rattle balls and got a trophy for it. Guess we'll see what that is for in the future. A penny burned. Why did you do that? Uh, do I get to keep it? I don't get to keep it. So it looks like I actually just killed it. Bye. What's important is we found one of the princesses. That's spirit. Can we get out of here, buddy? Sure. Okay. Wake up. We saved her. Let's go. As I continued, I decided to start working on some side quests, such as Cinnamon Buns, which you complete by going to the Butt Rock, having it fart in a bag, and making him laugh. I climbed atop a mountain while helping this dude kidnap some little kid and grabbing trophies as I made my way to the second dungeon. And Red Star. Gotcha. Alright, so that's just another quick trophy. Oh, crap. And that is level 99, so that is for cutting 999 bushes, so... Oh, we did it! He's dead! Bruh. Yes, that happened. Race to the entrance! Haha, <laughs> yeah! And there's that. Dungeon Train. After clearing Dungeon 2, by this point, the more dungeons you play, you unlock new power moves that Jake and Finn can both use. So I had access to some more side quests to do for some more trophies, that being talk to Stanley, win a race against Starchy, complete the Circle of Love, and dancing in Rave Cave, upon many others. And Food Chain. And the Stanley Gravels. As for trying to speak to him, shoot. Oh, what is this? Oh. And Love Games. Now that's just something that heals me. Oh, we still did it! Huh. Huh. 
and bad timing. There we go. There we go. The party's over. All right, so we're gonna get a trip here. We have to throw Jake in here. These guys were both swimming around my okay, house. Okay, then we want to say, Mr. Fox. Then I know what your dumb dog looks like. Seriously, okay. just ugh. And the real you. After all these miscellaneous trophies, I had the third temple, and this is honestly where the game started to suck, unfortunately, as this temple is like three hours long. And if you die, you have to restart the whole dungeon. And I died so many times, because this game does actually have a quite a bit of challenge to it. And sadly, the game would stay this way. Just having very long and annoying dungeons with tons and tons and tons of backtracking. Which made me realize, after all this running, you would assume Finn's feet would get super tired. Tired, right? Well, I think I figured out how Finn manages to keep running around with no issue. Which brings us to the sponsor of today's video, Shoesmates. Shoesmates is a website that sells tons of amazing Jordans with custom designs from things like anime, video games, TV shows, and more. I bought myself a pair of Chainsaw Man Jordans, and they're extremely well made and very comfortable to wear. You can explore all the designs they've made, some of my personal favorites being the Pokemon shoes. They have sick designs for many different Pokemon and other things from the series. If you're not really into shoes about video games, they have selections being holiday based, music, movies, and film, with many others. With a huge selection in each category. I love Shoesmates custom shoes, and they come at very affordable costs, so if you want some really cool custom made shoes, go ahead and check out the link on screen or in the description below, and again, huge thanks to Shoesmates for sponsoring today's video. Anyways, back to the game, the third temple was actually stupid to go through, but thankfully towards the end there is a save point at the boss. While I was here, I I actually got two combat trophies as well. Ocean of Fear. That temple sucked. I'm not gonna lie. That was actually not fun. What's going on? After beating that miserable dungeon, I would have access to finish the story and end the first playthrough. Before I would do so, I now had every power up and abilities to finish every side quest and collect all hidden items in the entire game. Now this was a pretty annoying because I would have to run back and forth between the entire map like a ton. It was kind of a slog and super boring because this game is very repetitive. But then for the collectibles, I already had most of them. So there wasn't too much backtracking to do. So I finished the rest of everything for all other trophies in the game. Drama. Alright, so we're gonna get another trophy here. My offer still stands. Show me Excellent. You are worthy. And blade of grass. Did I miss one? Or did I do it? Huh? Stay out. Oh. Okay, sad face. Okay, so I did do it. Alright, great. Alright, everyone. So we're gonna get ourselves two trophies here. I gave... Here's your five wooden board. Okay, so we have the ball, and we should get one more. The pods. That's for getting every baggie in the game. And of course, doing a side quest. 
All right, here we are in the beautiful graveyard. Here you are, little bro. You want this bug milk? Here you go. Is this for me? Thanks so much. I thought I'd never make it home. We get the Encridion. We get the Encridion trophy. There we go, henchman. That is an annoying trophy, but... And... The Red Throne, we're gonna get one more trophy. Bro. Dog, what? There we go, be more. So this is the thing I was supposed to find. Now it was time to fight the final boss, but during this I'd have three endings to get. Extra ending one and two, and the true ending. After beating the final boss, which was low-key very hard bro, I can't lie, I have to pick one of the three princesses to rule the Nameless Kingdom. Right after I pick one of them, I'd have to close the game after popping the trophy and then pick another princess for the other ending, which would net me three trophies. And we got her again. And it was a dream all along. Then... And we got her again. The true ending. Let's do it. Me? I don't know what to say. A good idea at the time. You put a lot of hard work into this place. That's what matters, not your name. Yeah, just stop going all crazy and kidnapping people. After everything, I'd be left with one final trophy, which was actually very tough to obtain. As you saw throughout the video, the side quest would give me stronger armor, more health, stronger swords, all around made the game more easy. And even then, the two final dungeons and bosses were pretty tough. But now I had to beat the game with no health upgrades, no armor upgrades, and no sword upgrades. So I had to beat the game taking more damage, only three hearts, and enemies take way longer to kill. With these things in mind, the first two dungeons were still fairly simple, but kinda tough. But the last two were so hard, man. But the hardest part was the final boss because you die in one to two hits. So I had to beat the game taking no damage. With practice and learning how to save heals, use certain potions to make certain parts of the game easier, made this doable. The final boss still took me like 20 minutes to do, man. Either way, after a bit of struggle, I finished the very first Adventure Time Platinum. Oh, we did it! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! It took us only 20 minutes. Ambentry, I don't know, Billy's bucket list. So, I'm gonna close up the game. So you guys can probably hear me very well because the game's music is, for some reason, extremely loud during cutscenes. But, dude, oh my gosh, that was actually really hard. That took a couple tries. Only took 20 minutes, but that was not easy. That was really the only hard part. Um, the other temples were really long and really annoying. But as long as you took it slow, took it at a good pace, it wasn't too bad. But that boss fight, two hits kill you, and there's like five phases, and it was really intense. To be honest, not as easy as I thought it was going to be, but uh, yeah, there we go. Final thoughts, aside from that one trophy, since it had some hard parts, this game gets a 4.3 out of 10 difficulty. 
After that honestly pretty repetitive and boring Adventure Time game that took 15 hours from my life, I wanted to enjoy the arguably best Adventure Time game of all time, Pirates of the Enchiridion, which has 36 trophies for me to obtain. The story starts off chilling in Jake and Finn's treehouse before a random flood starts flooding all of Oo, where we hop on a pirate ship and venture off to figure out what happened and restore Oo back to its original state. Much like the first Adventure Time game I did, this game has a very simple trophy list, and I'd say it's actually even simpler. All the trophies in this game are either miscellaneous or story based. The first step was to track down the Ice King and fight any enemies along the way to get my first bunch of trophies. Spill your guts, Ice King! Ugh, I will break you! Good job, Jake! The interrogation was a success! Bad we need hug. to know it's buying your crown, I think. That's the first interrogation. Yeah, we can address. figure out what's... Shiver me timbers. Win your first sea battle. And Muffin Man. So Loki, I might be cooked. It said to not fight this guy, but there's a trophy for it. But uh... honestly, I'm not really sure what to say about this game. All you really do is complete a couple quests for people that lead you to a new destination while doing some other side quests along the way. And it's very short with roughly a six to eight hour long platinum. Like every trophy in this game is things like beating some boss and destroying a certain amount of things or collectibles. This game is all around very short and there's just not much to say, but instead I'll leave my opinion on the game. If you're a big Adventure Time fan, I highly recommend this game. Out of all four games, this is really the only game from the bunch I actually had fun with, and while all the games are faithful to the source material, this is really the only fun game out of all of them. The game has a fun fighting mechanic, and most amount of the originality is faithful to the show. I'd really recommend if you play an Adventure Time game, avoid all of them and try out this one, you won't regret it. Either way, here's me popping this game's trophies and platinum. Smash up. Raise the flag. Super smash up. That's just like 250 items. Yo. Smash floating smash up. Oh, okay. And helping time. It's been your first side quest. I've been getting tons of trophies really fast. And mathematical. Win your first fight against the higher level enemy. Alright, there we go, land lovers. I just wanted to grab that trophy real quick because why not? Alright, fresh produce, just decided to buy some stuff real quick, cause why not? I'm not even buy one of these. Flaming goodness. Wow, a gold trophy. Restore the life to the treasure tree. Alright, this is bunk. You can put more than one bunk effect, that's what I tried to do, so. And, oh my, now my dog starts to yell. Um, the fern. Let's go, dude. And, algebraic. Defeat, beat 50 enemies in battle, baby. Let's go. There we go. Dosh Ahoy. That's for opening 15 total chests, baby. And there we go. Snagged it. Uh, collect 25 out of DC. I guess I'll get the rest of them. Yeah, science stuff. A lot to get with Vimo. Find some treasure. 
Oh, and a vasty matey. Yeah. Alright, there we go. Spill your guts. That's for using this app for the first time. I don't even know if it's useful. Whoa, what the heck? Found him. Find the snail? Uh, well, that was random. Oh, there we go. So that was the last mushroom people I was missing. Hero time. It's another trophy, baby. All right, we're gonna get a trophy here. There we go, Quadrateral. That's the one I wanted to do, but he killed his kids for some reason, but they feel slow to get And the bigger they are. There we go, baby. And explore a boo. Dock at all the islands. So I knew I was gonna get that one here. Uh, there we go, we got him. And cool it. Uh, I heard that was pretty hard, which a character of mine did die, but uh, really wasn't hard at all. There we go. For some reason, that one wouldn't light, but uh, there's light them up. All right, here we are. Let's go. And now stay put. All right, there we go. Hero BMO. Uh, that is one of four characters getting to level ten, baby. There we go, super helper. Complete every side quest. There we go. Hero Marceline, so that's now her at level 10. And Hero Jade, and one more. Hero Finn. Two trophies left, and they get both from beating the game. So there we go, sweet victory. Let's go ahead and finish this game up, and that'll be the platinum. There we go, bath time. And... Pirates of the Enchiridion. That is two of four platinums done. The other one we're doing next only takes five hours, and then the one after that takes roughly 40 to 80. Uh, anywhere in between, really. But... Usually like really? 70 or 80, but yeah, man, there's the Platinum. Now onto the third Adventure Time Platinum, Adventure Time Finn and Jake Investigations. And this is the quickest and easiest Platinum of them all. At a 1 out of 10 difficulty, it only takes 5 hours of Platinum. It only has 25 trophies required to pop the Platinum, and this game is basically just a glorified Telltale game, and I must say, this was the longest 5 hours of my entire life. Out of the five hours playing this game, three of those hours will be all conversation while you sit there and listen in on it, and the rest is walking around doing random crap. All you do here is there's five levels to play where random FBI cases set up for you to solve, so you walk around asking people what's going on and solve clues, and make your way around the map doing random puzzles. The only issue is each time there's a conversation, you can't skip it and it lasts like five whole minutes. To make matters worse, each time you actually do go out and do puzzles, they take like one minute to do, then you have more boring conversations to engage in. There's nothing of substance in this game, and just look at Finn, bro, he looks stupid. So yeah, basically just a telltale game where you rock around and do things every now and then i i guess 15 of 25 of these trophies are story based for solving mysteries while the rest are just missable miscellaneous trophies i need to do before it's too late some of which being long collectibles such as finding every hidden snail in the game before starting the first level of the game i had two trophies in the treehouse to obtain for using the telescope and entering every room after which i started the first level of the game while we're here we do actually engage in combat but it's very broken and crap and boring 
but this would also gain me two trophies for using every one of Jake's special attacks and hitting a 15 hit combo. Now, I want to see what happens in the story, but it's so basic, so boring, there's almost nothing to say. It just takes forever because every character yaps for like five minutes straight every chance the game gets it, just to say one simple thing. For the first mission, I'd approve this loser in jail is actually innocent. With this, Doobie enters some random portal to a wizard kingdom, while here I have to convince Ice King to let me in a wizard club to figure out some dumb kidnapping. Then they free the guy and that's literally all I needed to do. But because all the characters never stop talking, this took forever to do. There's literally nothing to say about this stupid, boring game, because the trophies you'll see pop up sum up everything that happens, bro. Also, can I just say one more thing? Yes, Finn looks stupid in this game, but the trophies look disgusting, dude. Like, what are these images, bro? Every Adventure Time game has really cool and unique trophies, but this game's trophy pop-ups are ugly, bro. Anyways, all this aside, this was the most boring game of my life, bro. 2 out of 10, no. 1 out of 10, don't recommend, go play Pirates of the Anchoridion instead. Much fun! Dibs on Finn's bed! I regret this already. Here we go, Harry Beast. That is the first part of this case I'm down. So yeah, see you here. Later. Yeah, see ya! Alright, here's the trophy. New to- that's a gold trophy, really, but uh, new to- ooh, let's go. And then head to the Ice Kingdom and look around. Alright, but I'm taking the sofa tonight. Ice King snores. Lump support, there we go. Touch an LSP, bro, that loser. Quack. 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 And investigation. Alright. Long live the Ice King. Looks like being sewn together from two different lemon grabs didn't change that guy much at all. He's still weird. Pretty unpleasant. <sighs> Whatevs. Guess we better get started finding that sound sword. And dance off. Yay. Seems kinda unstable politics wise. Flame people are hotheads. You gonna do? We'd love to stay and talk, Princess. We better get moving. Come on, Jake. It's time to head over to Castle Lemongrass. Alright, Sound Sword Quest. Let's go. You did it, man! That thing's gonna blow! Hi, I'm back! Just thought I'd say goodbye before you think you get out here, dude! Oh my. Oh, no, 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 no. He really chose Lemmer! I won't be able to make my peep sing! He'll come back and live here again! Unacceptable! And that is case three done. Acceptable ending. Billy, stop! Yeah, you better go to Billy's cave and see what's up. Wet Willy, there we go. Let's keep going. Billy's cave where it belongs. Will do! Come on, Jake. Guess we're heading back to play, Princess. Um, I mean, the Fire Kingdom. Cracked. There we go. One more section. And... Huh? Oh, after I click X. No thief? No tongue to lose. Before that, though... Let's go get ourselves another trophy, baby. And Radio Starchy. Uh, listen to all the radio broadcasts in the treehouse bedroom. And record loss. There we go. Come on, sit back to Marsley and find out who else we need to recruit to finish off the band. Band together. And now the last area of the last chapter. That'll boost your confidence big time. Sounds like a plan. Alright. Let's get ourselves a trophy. Hmm. Snail. Snail's pace. That is for seeing every snail in the game. Let's go. Ready? All the equipment is set, and everybody's on the way to the treehouse. We're good to go. Then I guess it's recording time. All right, there we go. Real to real. And then we'll get ourselves another trophy here in a second. 
We have to say the emotions. Good job. Flimpin' the diode and here in a second. Adventure time. With all other Adventure Time Platinums done, I would then move on to the final Platinum, Adventure Time Explore the Dungeon because I don't know. And this would be an extreme jump in Platinum difficulty and time to Platinum. All the other Adventure Time games were like 1 to 2 out of 10 difficulties aside from the Vita game, and each took like 5 to 8 hours, again aside from the Vita game. But what I read on this game's Platinum scared me. There's not really any official guide on this game's Platinum aside from the Xbox achievements, but for some reason the Steam and PS3 version is like broken, so the Xbox guide doesn't really count, but on PSN voting sources, 50% of people voted for an 8 out of 10 difficulty in some 9, and almost everyone said it takes 70 to 80 hours. After reading that about the game, I wasn't really sure what to expect. But I read up on some of the trophies, and like all the other games, it seemed fairly simple. This Adventure Time has the same gameplay mechanics as the Nameless Kingdom game, but this time there's only one goal, to enter a dungeon and clear out 100 total floors. Every 5 floors you get a break and get to save your game, and every 10 floors you have a boss fight. As I would go through each floor, it would lead me to getting the trophies for every single collectible and side quest in the entire game. So pretty much every single trophy I would get, I would get by just playing the story. As I started off the game, it seemed pretty easy so far, and left me getting my first couple of trophies. Dodge what? Bamboo pole! Memory of a memory. Wow, first trophy, chat. First trophy. Uh, yeah! Yay! We're stronger now! We have new hearts! The meaning of bravery. Yo, he is learning new moves. All right, we got him, baby. Holy crap! Yeah! Tell us what you know about this prison. There we go. Dude. Also, I'm sure you can tell from that footage, the frame rate is very weird. I should have mentioned this earlier, but the game has some pretty heavy frame rate issues. Like I said earlier, apparently the PS3 and Steam version had heavy problems. After only getting my first three trophies, this game would already put roadblocks in my way, such big roadblocks that would ultimately lead to arguably my most daunting platinum of all time. In these clips, you can see my game would keep crashing over and over again, making it so I could make no progress. But sometimes it would work so I could continue. If my game crashed, it wasn't too big of a deal. One floor only lasted around 2-5 to five minutes, but this would change very quickly. After beating my first boss for one trophy, the floors would get much larger. And not only that, my game would crash even more frequently, making me continually lose progress. The worst part about this is I'm being for real right here, this may be the most repetitive video game I've played in my entire life. After my game would consistently crash over and over, I kind of figured my disc was just busted or something, but I discovered that the PS3 version of this game is very broken, obviously as mentioned earlier, and if you're online or connected to PSN at all, this game simply becomes unplayable. After finding this out, I simply played the game offline and played up until 4.30 getting me some more trophies. Alright, we should get a trophy now. Alright. Trophy? And I can't even see it, but I did hear it pop. Um... I heard it pop. Why? Go back to the main menu now? Dude... This game has got so many problems, it's not even funny. Key! You can never have enough of these! You can never have- I appreciate- Alright, hot deals in the Ice Kingdom. Let's go. I don't know 
what that even does, but let's get a trophy. Lady and Peebles. Let's go. All right, there we go. Uh, sorry, I'm listening to music, so I kind of lost track. Yo, fruit salad days. There's that trophy. There we go. <clears throat> So, getting this upgrade for the first time will give me another trophy. Let's see, pop. Wherever it is. There we go. What is life? At this point, getting through five floors would take around 40 minutes, but for some reason, despite not being connected to PSN or being online at all for that matter, my game would start crashing again, but not nearly as often as before. But I say not nearly as often because it used to crash about every level, but now this game would give me maybe 30 minutes until it would crash. And remember, I only get to save my game every five floors. Here's a little foreshadowing of what's to come. I'm gonna give you a really strong squeeze. My game crashed. My game crashed. Bro, I can't with this game, man. I'm b just playing this game normally. As you can see, I have 823 coins. I'm on 495, guys. If I beat this level, I was right there. The exit was right there. I'm about to leave. It's been an hour and a half. Okay? I killed the skeleton guy using this guy with a gun. I came here in the purpose to upgrade the Ice King so I could kill him that way. But I killed him this. I would have gotten two silver trophies because I would have upgraded the character whatever. Hour and a half. And my game freezes. I can't with this game, man. How many times is this going to happen? Unfortunately, so often that it might cost you 40 hours of your life, Cold Stoner. That clip you saw there is a reason why this game takes so roughly 70 to 80 hours to platinum. This game would be a hard but decently short platinum at 35 to 40 hours. Thanks to crashing, it doubles the amount of time to platinum. Anyways, let's continue. As mentioned earlier, my game would sometimes function, sometimes not. And not every floor looked and played the exact same, but the further and deep you go in, the style of it changes, and there were lots of side quests and collectibles to get, but again, got them as I played from opening up every chest and grabbing all the money in every floor. Thankfully, this game would stay pretty tame for the most part. Sometimes it would be hard and took practice, but it wasn't too bad. Sometimes my game would crash, causing me to lose progress, like two hours worth each crash. But up until floor 80, this game was no issue. So here's me getting the trophies up until that point. I heard her now? Oh, I did it! Okay. Reign of Gunters. Uh huh. Um, I used to, I used to do. T I just got a trophy. I just got a trophy. What the heck? There we go, dude. There we go, Butopia. That was probably the worst boss fight in this whole game, dude. Okay. All right, we did it. Holy crap, his hero. Oh, there hey, gang. Oh, I did it. Okay. Died once, which is too bad because I lost, like, a lot of money. But there we go. Hitman. After all that, floor 80 seemed daunting because, remember, it's a very repetitive game. 
Five floors takes one to two hours at this point, and my game would crash a lot, so getting here took a very long time. But at this point, the game's difficulty also spiked. All of a sudden, levels were flooded with OP enemies that respawn, and for some reason, I can't figure out why, my game crashed so much to the point where getting from floor 80 to 100 took me over 20 hours. I wasn't connected to the internet or PSN, so why did it crash so much? Now again, it wasn't my disc. The PS3 and Steam versions are just broken like this. But dude, it got super hard. It kept crashing, and like the clip shown earlier, this would happen 90% of the time. It was at the fifth floor, which is my save point. Screw this game! With these things explained, getting to floor 100 seemed like it would never end. But I pushed through, and I eventually did it. There, we did it. What is that, bro? The Flame Princess is free! Cool. Is he fully maxed out now? I think he is. Yup, the other tarts. There we go. Okay, then what? Oh, I did it! And Guardians of Sunshine. We gotta get out of here. I smell fire and bananas. What's this whole meta spirit thing? The new frontier. Done. We are. What have you done? From this point, I was in the final phase of the Platinum. This required me to complete Natosphere mode. What it is, is an endless stream of floors. That being the hardest flows in the game. So hard, it's worse than what I described earlier. And I had to complete 50 in a row. But before I talk about what it is, I still have some side quests to finish. While doing this, I had to fully upgrade all 8 playable characters in the game as well. The problem with this, though, is it takes tons of money. And to keep the money, I had to make it in and out of the dungeon in one go. So as I farmed money for each character to upgrade them, my game would always crash on me by the way because of this in total it took like 25 hours to fully upgrade everyone and it was miserable again as i upgraded to them i did every side quest so here's me getting everything done this is the thing man i try to go talk to princess bevel again all of a sudden my screen turns silver and then it loads this there's like some weird green thing you can see it in the sparks, it's like, you know, where it says weapons and whatever. I'm a game for reasons, dude. I worked so hard for that 500 gold. But when I close the game, I'm going to lose it all. Really? We can, you should Let's go, he's maxed out and I have to use 700 freaking coins, man. Do my trophy. You made me, there we go, dude. Yes, I'm Yeah, I think that's the last one for tree trunks. Should have been. Here we go. Tree trunks. I was, it was taking a while, so I was like, wait, is there one more? Alright, I should be able to finish this. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. Alright, there you go. That is the last quest done for this guy. And that is also a trophy. Dream of love. Okay. Here we go, receive that. Now play demo card to choose in the title menu. There, business time, and that should also have been the last BMO cartridge, I think. Yup. BMO lost. There we go. Oh, we just need the shark sword. And it's gonna take a minute, probably. There we go, Princess of Rat Hat. So I think that's another trophy too. Um Yes. What was missing? Yes. Okay. I took too much damage. He's pretty close to dying though, I think. Like, very close. Okay, no one was late. Oh, I got him! Yes! Okay, bro, honestly, I'm gonna just die. I don't wanna risk not. I don't wanna risk my game crashing again. That was so stressful. There we go! Unlimited supply of pink sweaters. Give me my trophy. 
Oh, Grumpy Pie. Oh my gosh. Here we go. And that is the Flame Princess all maxed out. Let's get it. Hot to the touch. Still though, there's another trophy. Let's see a pop. There we go. Let's celebrate. Yes, we should. Here's a trophy coming. Jake the dog. Now we have three more characters to fully upgrade. LSP, Ice King. Alright, cool. Daddy's little monster. What the? Huh? Here we go. LSP is maxed out. Let's see it pop. Trouble in lumpy space. Let's see it pop. Loyalty to the king. That's every character. Fine. Now, with everything said and done, it was time for me to finish this Platinum once and for all, and that's the complete Natosphere mode. My initial strategy was to use the Easy Mode medals and the Speed Shoes to blast from floor to floor as fast as I could. You know what? It was going smoothly. The floors were way faster doing this, but guess what? It was so hard, because get this, not once, not twice, but three times, so my game crashed at floor 30. Look! Look at this! Three times! Ten total hours gone. Ten. Ten hours! This is probably the most depressing point of my life. So the next attempts, instead of using the speed shoes, it did make it harder but way faster. At this point, I wanted to just make it straight up as easy as possible whether it makes it tank longer or not. So I decided to use the armor medals and easy mode medals, so it would take longer but it was a lot easier. Again, on 4.30, my game crashed. But in this case, it was 4 hours because it took longer. Well, you guys get the point. Eventually, after trial and error, I had this attempt. Okay, we have a chance, we have a chance. Oh. Last turn. This is four fifty. Last turn. Oh, we did it. Oh, that's platinum. Oh, wait, we're still gonna get Give me that. Give me that. Oh, platinum. Holy crap. The limit. James Baxter. Holy crap. That took 70 hours. 70. This game gets a flat 7 out of 10 difficulty, man. So hard, bro. 7 out of 10, I give it. Most people gave it 9, by the way. Um, this took 70 hours. 70 can't believe I'm finally done. Terrible game. Well, I did it. I got the Platinum. And look how rare it is on PSN. Only 140 achievers. 0.93%. And there's a good reason behind this. Everyone, if you're a fan of Adventure Time and you want all the Platinums, for the sake of your mental health, do all of them except this game. It's awful. Final thoughts on the game, obviously 7 out of 10 difficulty, but 10 out of 10 mentally destroying. Stay away from Adventure Time games aside from Pirates of the Enchiridion. Anyways, thank you all for watching today's video. This is actually the worst pain I've ever gone through. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe, drop a comment, and I'll see you all in the next video.